Good morning and thank you for tuning into my YouTube channel. I'm going to be posting a video showing the procedure known as a gastropexy, but I wanted to have a video that explained what a gastropexy is, why you would have one performed, and what dogs are most likely to need a gastropexy. So there's a little bit more context to go along with the procedure itself. So first of all, what is a gastropexy? So a gastropexy literally means gastro, stomach, pexy, attach. And so we are attaching the stomach to the side of the body wall. And there are many ways to do a gastropexy. The one that I perform in the video is called an incisional gastropexy, where I make an incision into the side of the body wall and an incision into the outer lining of the stomach and sew the two together. There are belt loop gastropexies and all kinds of different forms, but an incisional gastropexy is probably the most widely used and the one that I am most comfortable performing. And so that's the one that I perform in the video that I will also post. Uh, but why why would you have a gastropexy performed? So a gastropexy is meant to try to prevent um, what's called a GDV or gastric dilatation and volvulus. And this happens when a dog's stomach gets very, very distended with gas and ingesta, and then it rotates. And whenever it rotates, gas cannot escape because all the exits are blocked off because of that twist that has now occurred. And so it just continues to get bigger and bigger and starts putting pressure on surrounding organs and surrounding blood vessels, limiting blood flow to certain organs and parts of the body. This is a life-threatening emergency when this happens. Now, whenever a patient has a gastropexy performed before a GDV occurs, that does not mean that they cannot still bloat. They can still dilate, but it prevents the stomach from flipping because it's attached to the side of the body wall already. Once a dog has a GDV, the surgery to correct or save that dog's life is a gastropexy. So what we do is go back in, flip the stomach to its original position, and now that all the ligaments and soft tissues have been stretched out, we attach the stomach to the side of the body wall because once they've had a GDV once, if they do not have a gastropexy performed, they're very, very likely to do it again. Other procedures that may need to be performed if your dog has a GDV are things like a splenectomy. As we mentioned, blood flow gets cut off to certain organs and the spleen is a big one. And so if the spleen is necrotic and dying because it has not had adequate blood flow, that will also need to be removed. Occasionally, you will still have to remove pieces of the stomach as well, who have been so devascularized or not enough blood flow that that tissue is dead. And so you'll have to remove pieces of the stomach and sew the stomach back together. Uh, GDV, like I said before, is a life-threatening emergency procedure. It's not something you wanna wait on um, because even with immediate care, those dogs still are very, very high risk for passing and they're very critical um, for those first couple days after surgery as well. And so if you think your dog may have a GDV, don't wait, get to a veterinary clinic immediately for the best chances of saving your dog's life. So why would I have a gastropexy performed before a GDV happens? There are certain breeds of dogs who are very prone to having a GDV. And these are dogs that have that very deep chest conformation. So like the stereotypic poster child for a GDV is a Great Dane. So we can all envision this giant dog with this really deep chest um, and pretty skinny tucked up abdomen. And those dogs that have that same body type, even if they're not that big, are all prone to GDV. And so Great Danes, German Shepherds, Standard Poodles, even dachshunds. Dachshunds have that deep chest. They're not a big dog, but they have that deep chest. And so they are on the list as well for breeds that are predisposed to GDV. It can happen in any dog. I've seen it in Labrador Retrievers. I saw it in my own personal Irish setter. So it's not that it can't happen in any dog, um, but it's most common in those breeds with the deep chest. One I didn't mention is a Doberman Pinscher. And so the video that I have of the 
prophylactic or preventative gastropexy is actually a Doberman pincher. So when should this be performed on your pet? If you would like to have a prophylactic gastropexy done or a preventative gastropexy done on your dog, the best time to do it is when they're being spayed or neutered. And usually I recommend having that done when they're around one year of age. I don't like to do a gastropexy before they're 10 to 12 months old. And the reason being is because they're still growing, especially because most of these dogs that are prone to GDV are large breed dogs and they're still growing at a very high rate. And so if you do the gastropexy procedure when they're six months old, where the stomach is sitting may not be the same because they're gonna be growing very quickly. And so I, I really prefer to wait until they're at least 10 months old to do their gastropexy because the stomach is gonna be sitting in approximately where it's going to sit for the rest of that dog's life um, and do their spay or neuter at the same time. So we only have to put them under anesthesia once. And again, this does not prevent them from still dilating and getting very bloated, but it helps minimize the risk of that rotation. I have heard of some rare cases of dogs that had a prophylactic gastropexy that still had the rotation occur, but that is extremely rare. Um, and usually it's because something failed surgically before then. So it's not like you shouldn't do this. Uh, I have done this many times and knock on wood, <laughs> I guess I should find something to knock on so I don't jinx myself. Uh, I have not had any issues yet. And so if you have any questions about a prophylactic gastropexy, feel free to contact your, your local veterinary clinic and see if that's something that they perform regularly. And if you think your dog may be at risk for a GDV, it's definitely something to consider.